for these three isomers. So let's do our stereo isomers check starting from here. Now uh, there, will be, there will be no geometric isomers because no carbon-carbon double bond and no optical isomers because no chiral center. So this will exist as a single isomer. Then let's move on to this one. Then we have um, so there will be no geometric isomers because again no carbon-carbon double bond. However, if you see the second carbon atom is a chiral center. So there will be optical isomers. Now I'm not drawing the optical isomers this time because you, you can figure that out on your own. I've already taught you how to draw optical isomers, but there will be two optical isomers. So then two stereo isomers for this structural isomer. Now let's move to this one. So no carbon carbon double bond, hence uh, no geometric isomers. And again, no chiral center, so no optical isomers. Now we can move for, further now from this one. So what if we have, can we have a three carbon? I think we are done with all the two carbon, at, four carbon atom chains. So can we have a three carbon atom chains? Let's see. So if we have an OH over here and one, two and three, and what if we have four and five? Okay, so we cannot have a three carbon chain in this case. Because you notice that every structure you're trying to draw will not have a three carbon longest chain. This will, uh, the four will be the longest you can get. So uh, we are done with the isomers. So let's count the total structural isomers first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six structural isomers in total. And let's count the total structural and stereo isomers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight so this will become eight so, so there are six structural isomers in total and if we include both structural and stereo there will be eight isomers so let me quickly do a three carbon check once again because uh, because i don't want to miss anything i don't i want you to know everything in this one so again we can have o h what if I place OH over here with so 1, 2 and 3, 4 and 5. So I can have a 3 carbon chain, can I? Yes, I can have a 3 carbon chain. So we were wrong. There can be a 3 carbon main chain. So let's just erase this because these are the wrong terms. We can have a 3 carbon main chain. So, because you can see that this will become 1, this will become 2, or 3, or 3, or 3. So, you can see there can be 3, uh, there can be a 3 carbon main chain. Uh, so, if you see in this one, there will be 2 methyl groups on the second carbon atom and the alcohol group on the first carbon atom. So, this will become 2, um, 2. Because there are two methyl groups both on the second carbon atom. So 2, 2, dimethyl. Because there are two methyl groups. Propen, 1, all. And propen because three carbon atoms in the main chain. 1, all because uh, the alcohol group is on the first carbon atom. So 2, 2, dimethyl, propen, 1, all. Now this is the only three carbon chain we can get because I can guarantee that because of course we cannot place any carbon we cannot place the alcohol group on the second carbon atom uh, uh, otherwise the second carbon atom will be forming four bonds five bonds sorry five bonds it's not possible it can only form four so this is the correct uh, this is the correct answer now so this is the only three carbon chain and uh, three carbon main chain sorry and this will also exist as only one isomer because you can see no chiral center so no optical isomerism, no carbon, carbon double bond, so no geometric isomerism. So be careful about these isomers, you should not miss any. So again, total number of structural, only structural isomers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And then total number of structural and stereo, so 1, 2 and 3, because 2 isomers here, 1, 2 and 3, <coughs> 4, 5, 6 and 7, again because 2, 8 and 9. So there will be 7 structural isomers in total and 9 structural plus stereo isomers in total. 
So this is how we do isomerism in alcohols. Now let's move forward.